gonna change Michael. Michael's clothes. That's what I want to do. Let's go upstairs. Get him out this uh, Hitman attire. Oh, the gloves and the black and everything. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we're working with. Let's just put him on the outfit. Some I already put together. Uh, so you got a, you got some suits. Put them on. Uh, do do do. Let's see, four suits. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can, we can do that right there. All right. He just, he just looked like a suit guy, you know. Yeah, I like it. All right. See what we're working with. We're gonna go outside, guys, and uh, go to this map. See exactly what we are, what we're dealing with now. See that car is more like it. Damn that red car they kept giving me. That red car was a piece of piece of crap. Uh, okay, I guess this is the only one that we can uh, hit up right now. Uh, there you go. Let's get up in this bad boy. Hold on, y'all see that? <laughs> Look at the rails with the damn dollar. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's crazy. Who car is this, man? Okay, this cannot be Michael's car. Damn, it's, it's wrecked now. <laughs> I ain't waste no time, did I, guys? I got right to it with tear it up. Alright, guys. We'll be at the uh, spot in a second. Alright, guys. As you guys see, we uh, got a couple fender benders. <laughs> Check out the ride. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this car is fast. This day is fast, man. I was uh, losing it from time to time. All right. Let me uh, get up out this bad boy. Go in this uh, nice place of business. Let's see what's up with uh, Trevor. Why do I feel like I'm going to see Trevor in the crazy? Look, wait. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got, guys. Hold uh, on. What the hell? What was this on the wall? Was that like a... Are those like bullet holes? What? <laughs> oh, man. I, I always kind of wanted to like see how how back of a script club like what well, they get. Look at this shit. Look at that poop. They got a. Uh, they got all type of stuff. Got dolls. Motherfucker got a snake and shit back here. What the fuck is this? All type of all type of costumes and damn crazy man. Yeah, paint coming off the wall. Yeah, this right here kind of the, the image I had in my head. It, it, it kind of resembles. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways. All right. Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit. All right. I want to square things away with Merriweather. Make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just gonna live here. I'm gonna run this this good business, showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then you know, happy. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? Hmm. I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going <laughs> on here? Frank will try to get him to tell him to sell. Is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. 
The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. <laughs> there you go. That's the guy you was talking about, Franklin. All right. Drive to the bank. They fixed my car, guys. See that? Let me fix his radio station, though. There we go. Sound like that's simple hey, enough. Uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. All right, I think I need to switch to uh, Trevor. All right, now we need to uh, go to the airfield, guys. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. <laughs> for a little respect, just a little, because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. <laughs> oh my God! You don't want to know what he wants to do with you. Twenty percent of two hundred million of it. Actually, man, we're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. All right, guys. I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No, seriously, a big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. Oh, I think it was. Now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm uh -oh. <laughs> Some things are he gonna be disappointed. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. He ain't in jail, my boy. Yeah, uh, six feet under. You ready to get the memo? Just went 13:30. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. All right, let's get on this. Uh. You're the one who keeps in talking this about the schedule, Lest. Come on. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails. He's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. <laughs> I will. You really think Brad is still alive? Talk to you too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. 
I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Nah, he just know better. He knows the guy ain't alive no more. He's been dead. Yeah, Michael been keeping it away from him, you know, because he don't want him to spaz out more than usual. That's the that's the reality of the situation. Where the hell am I going? Where am I going? All right, guys, we're going to the the yellow dot on the map. Should be there in a second, though. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clock. Okay, so we use that to kind of keep our eyes on them. I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's going to say, oh, they get over the power lines. Okay. I don't, I don't think I could probably hit them anyway, probably. But he said the same person was a man's room. This guy right here. This damn Trevor. One of a kind. That's for a good reason. We don't need two of them. Alright, hold on. Uh, trying, trying to stay as far away from him as possible so they don't see me, but I can see them. Hold on. Oh, damn. They're going up under there. We're going to lose them. We're going to lose them. He got low, low. No, okay, here they, here they go. No, we got him, we got him. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Bye! Uh, just stay, stay off them, stay off them. Don't get close to them. I'm out of their distance. Here we go, here we go. Uh, they getting a little impatient, I see. <laughs> at least Trev I mean at least Lester is honest. Hold on, let me go up, go up. Alright, where where they at? Alright, they're right there. Alright, let's go forward. Try to stay as close as possible. Don't wanna oh, hold on, go up, go up, go up. Go up, go up. What it? There you go. Alright. Watch out for them buildings. Watch out for that tree. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Okay, okay. Meet at the other end. I was I got hoping they come through here. This I'm already ahead of you. They go in, Put it. you come out. Okay, so right now guys, we're just surveying the route. Pretty much. Well, let's go up a little bit. Alright, which way up okay, there? Right there. Yeah, but this is uh this is cool, man. How they uh right on time. Hey, get you to do this stuff. Like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. All right. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, All right, where are we going now? The tool store job. They're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. All right, big hole. Gotcha. God, Lee, how close do I have to be to this damn thing? Go down a little bit. Down a little bit more. Alright, 
I am. Hover up, Bob, so I can shoot down into I'm it. hovering. Now just hover here. Lots of clear space. Okay, cool. Hold it. It looks good. We're lucky these projects take so long. Looks pretty feasible. No steel supports. All right. I think I've got enough information to work with. All right. Let's switch to Michael. Thank God. Get back on solid ground. Talking about get closer to the hole. Mother, we about to be in the hole six feet under. Way way more than six feet under. About to be dead. All right. Take Franklin to his house. All right. Yeah, we ain't been to Franklin house in a minute. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, uh, yeah, Trevor get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> uh, point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't never gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. <laughs> ask Trevor. Got away. Man, you sound shady, dog. Real shape. We'll talk. All right. Just later. Yeah, Michael don't want to, you know, him to know that he pretty much cut a deal with, you know, with the uh, with the guys. All right, here we go, guys. All right, I'll have him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. All right. Got 50% complete. I would thought I did better than that. Uh, got a bronze. It's not that bad. That's it for right now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a fave. Next episode coming soon. Stay tuned.